Professor Alan Sachs is on the line right now. Uh, Professor, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. In regard to uh, profanity, I was just listening on Fox Television to the profanity-laden speech by the head of the Democratic National Committee. <laughs> and apparently he just, he just loves to use those words. Uh, oh, the, uh, the uh, drop in the F-bomb. Oh, yeah. it was incredible. They yeah. kept bleeping yeah. out everything, so I'm not sure exactly what word to use, but <laughs> it, it, I think it was potty language is yeah. the best way to put it. Okay, those Democrats and potty language. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, professor is with the University of Texas at Arlington. He is a p- political science professor. And uh, here we go. I'm, I'm interested to see out of nowhere the president last week said, hey, we're taking another shot at uh, repealing or replacing Obamacare. Uh, some Republicans surprised. Uh, Paul Ryan says not sure if it can be pulled off this week. What are your thoughts? I think that they may be going on it a little bit too quickly. Uh, that's exactly what happened some weeks ago when the whole thing failed in the House. And uh, they just should not have brought it up uh, some weeks ago unless they had the vote. So they have to be very sure they have the votes. But uh, they may... What is bothersome, to me at least, is that the media seems to be pushing the agenda again. The 100 days. What is magical yeah. about 100 days? Uh, that comes, goes all the way back to Franklin Delano Roosevelt right after the Depression when he got a lot of stuff done during the first 100 days. Yeah. So now they're pushing that with President Trump. The 100 days, what has he accomplished? Well, the main thing is you've got to get it right. Don't worry about the 100 days. But uh, that's the media pushing the agenda. So what is on President Trump's uh, desk right now is uh, Obamacare. Replace it with something else. Get rid of it. Uh, I think they'd be very careful with that. Along with that is tax reform. That may have a pretty good chance. And I think it may be rolled out the same time as health care issues. Yeah. Because the two really go hand in hand, uh, strangely enough. But um, health care, tax reform... In fact, I think the Dow Jones futures today were up very dramatically in anticipation of the tax reform uh, in the middle of the week. Uh, Perhaps getting rid of corporate income tax would do enough, I think, to keep the stock market up for a long time, if that indeed will happen. So tax reform, health care, a budget deficit uh, deadline looms on Saturday. But the, uh, I'm not sure that uh, uh, what's coming today on Wednesday, apparently, the president. I want to take issue with a couple of things. And I, I love having you on, Professor. Sure. But I, I have to be fair here. First of all, the, the president uh, is saying that he's going to make a big announcement on tax reform on Wednesday. Again, to the surprise of Republicans, um, because there really is no bill. So it looks like what's going to happen on Wednesday is they're going to lay out the standards for tax reform. And right. he's moving, I think, a lot of uh, very, very quickly on yeah. these things. He yeah. wants to, to show his supporters, look what I've done in the first uh, right. uh, d- uh, days in office. But probably part of that will be to lower uh, the corporate income tax. But by the way, you're, you're absolutely right. They, it, both of these things, Obamacare and taxes, are so complex. We're talking thousands of pages of laws and regulations. Yeah, yeah. And to try to reform that in a short period of time is very, very difficult to do. Here's the other thing I, I have to take issue with, and, and I understand it's uh, today it's easy, very easy for us to attack the media, especially the mainstream media. Quote, I love unquote. doing it. I know I you do. It. <laughs> but, in, but in fairness, it was it was President Trump as a candidate who put out the contract with America that what he was going to accomplish in the first 100 days. That's and, true. And that came out late in, uh, that came, I think that may have come out after, he may have been president-elect when that came out. But beyond that, since then, in the last couple of months, he keeps talking about no other president has ever accomplished so much in 100 days. He You're keeps, right. He keeps right. bringing uh, it up. You can't blame the media for bringing up what the president either says or tweets about. I, I don't... He did. You're right about that. He pushed, he pushed these things during the campaign and that's campaign rhetoric. Yeah. And now, of course, the media is very quick to remind him of that. But you're absolutely correct. He's the one that pushed the agenda. It was campaign rhetoric, and uh, he's using his campaign rhetoric uh, to try to get uh, these things done so we right. can tell his supporters, look what I've done. I've, 
I've kept my campaign promises. But, but don't, you're right. don't don't you feel though that, 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 that I, I liked when when his comment was just a, I believe it was this weekend when he said, "Listen, the hundred day thing is ridiculous. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to get to this stuff in time. It might not be this week. It might be the next week. It doesn't matter." Uh, but he seems to have this desire to be first at everything. You're I'm right. the first to ever do this, and he keeps pushing. And he needs to stop. And, and I'm hearing this from Republicans as well. He's imposing these deadlines on himself. He should just be happy with, I'm going to make America great again, whether it takes me 100 days or 200 days. No, you're exactly right. My my notice of the media is that they keep reminding him yes, of it all you're right. the time. Yep. And it probably pushes him a little bit farther down down the road. You may but be you're right. You're right. He, he, he is... He is responsible for much of this. It's funny because you say we always talk about how the media, um, how how Trump reacts to the media, and the media reacts to Trump. It's a very interesting dynamic there between the two. But you're you're absolutely correct there. I uh, and they use each other, and they use each other. I they think do. they need each other very much. There is no doubt about it. They uh, need each other. They do. All right, Professor. Very interesting. So, does anything get done this week? Do you think? I am. I'm a little bit skeptical that things are going to get done that quickly. Yeah. Uh, perhaps uh, tax reform, but it's not going to be passed. But at least, as you put it, you're right. Some of the layout, some of the uh, major parts of tax reform may be rolled out this week. Certainly, Wall Street is doing good in anticipation of it. Yeah. But uh, and I don't think there's going to be a budget uh, a budget uh, shutdown uh, shutdown of the government on Saturday. But uh, there could be other issues that could come up to push these to the background, namely North Korea, and who knows yeah. what can happen with that. Yep, you're right. All right, very interesting, Professor Alan Sachs. As always, we love having you on. Thanks so much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Always appreciate it. All right, have a great day. Quick, Thank you. quick break. We will um, uh, we will come right back here.